In this video we will take a closer look at target search tab in the Adrenaline Bot interface. The settings of this tab determine how and under what conditions the character should choose a target for further attack, which mobs should have higher priority, and which ones should be ignored. The character's defense against attacks from other players is also configured here. By the way, if you would like the attack to be applied automatically, but choose the target yourself, you can use the manual target search option at the bottom of the general tab. It should be noted that, when this option is enabled, the attack icon will be highlighted in green. There are two subsections at the top. General search settings are configured in the first subsection, and individual settings for specific mobs and NPCs, in the second. Let's start with general settings. They are divided into five logical blocks. Mobs of other players, pause, aggressive mobs, aggressive players, and change target. Let's take a look at each of them in turn. Mobs of other players. Here we can find the settings to configure character's behavior toward mobs that have already been attacked by other players or are likely to be attacked by them in the near future. For example, this settings help to avoid the aggression of other players as a result of stealing their mobs. Don't attack another player's fight. This option prevents the bot from choosing as a target the mob that someone is already attacking. Don't attack mobs hooked to another player. If this checkbox is enabled, the bot will ignore aggro mobs that are already running after another player. After all, it may turn out to be a whole group of mobs, and attacking them may be life-threatening. Omit, if mob and target. When this setting is enabled, the bot will not select mobs that someone is already targeting. Be careful, someone can target our mobs intentionally to make the bot constantly change its target, this will lead to detection. Omit, if player is closer to target. This option makes the character to change target if a player is already close to the mob by a certain amount. This option is useful for melee classes, so as not to waste time. Omit, if distance from target to player less than. With this checkbox, the bot will skip the mob if someone is already near it at the specified distance. It should be noted that all three options in the omit block can be combined. For example, you can enable mob and target along with distance from target to player less than, and the target will be ignored only when a player targets the same mob and stands next to it. This behavior will look quite natural. Don't consider friends. If this option is activated, the settings above will not apply to players from friend list, which is configured on party settings tab. You can find more information about party settings tab in our other video. Finish, if started attack. If this option is activated, the settings above will not work if our character has already attacked a mob. This option is recommended for use, as players usually do this. We are finished with this block. The section with only one setting is next in line. Target selection pause. You can indicate a random delay in selecting a new target here. From, to. This allows to slow down the targeting speed to make the character look more like a player. Let's take a closer look at aggressive mobs block, where we configure character's behavior toward mobs that made an attempt on our character's life. Finish aggressive mobs first. If this checkbox is activated, the bot will choose to attack the aggressive mobs first, and only in their absence, will attack the rest. Fight off chasing monsters. If this option is activated, the bot must kill mobs that run after it. We advise you to turn on this option, because sometimes several mobs are already capable of creating problems. Change target for closest. This setting orders to attack mobs that are closer to the character, useful for melee characters. That's all for this block. Now let's discuss an important block that contains settings responsible for the reaction of our bot to attacks from other players. Protect from PvP PK. If this option is activated, the bot will fight off players. Please note, this will involve skills and actions with the player's checkbox enabled on the attack tab. We have dedicated a separate video to that tab. You can set up to two different conditions for counterattack below. The type of condition is selected on the left, and on the right the value to be compared with. If you set up two conditions, they must be used simultaneously in order to defend against aggressive players. For example, for the first condition you can choose my CP% to start fighting off only after few enemy hits. 
and for second you can choose attacking NPC less than 3 in order to deal with the attacking mobs first if there are a lot of them. Player Priority When this setting is on, the character will immediately stop attacking mobs and switch to the enemy player in case of need of PvP protection. Attack PK If this option is activated, the bot will itself attack players with a PK status that are closer than specified in the finish PvP radius option. If this option is disabled though, we will hunt down all PKs in the area. This is the only case when the bot can attack first for the rest you can use scripts. We have discussed the protection from enemies. Now let's move to last block change target. It has settings for various cases when the bot should ignore its current or potential target. If an X seconds HP does not change. When this option is enabled, the bot will ignore the mob for the specified period of time if during the battle mobs HP did not decrease for a certain time. The ignoring time for aggressive mobs should be indicated separately. Can see mob. The character must change the target if the target is behind obstacle that cannot be bypassed. Don't attack if NPC level is more or less than ours for. These settings speak for themselves. It is worth mentioning that there are applied not only for NPCs, but also for mobs. They are used, for example, to select a target that is close in level. Do not attack if there is text in the title. This option allows to ignore targets with specific text in the title. On some servers, the administration places mobs with a special title, the attack of which leads to character ban. This is where the option will come in handy. You can enter several titles, separated by commas. Do not attack champions. If this checkbox is activated, the bot will ignore mobs with blue and red auras, the so-called champions. They are too strong sometimes, and the fight will lead to death. Don't attack if HP more than. If the target has more HP than we specified and the option is enabled, the target will be ignored. It can be a raid boss, a champion or just a strong mob. Don't attack after respawn. It would be suspicious to attack a mob that appeared just yet lightning fast reaction. Use this setting for mobs and NPCs to avoid suspicious looks. Let's move to filter subsection. You can configure the priority of the attack or ignore here. Moreover, both for all mobs and NPCs and for specific ones. The first thing we see is a table that displays a list of our configured targets at the top. In the first column the name. In the second the type, mob or NPC. In the third the action of our bot to the target. In the fourth the priority. In the fifth the position of target and in the last target's ID, according to the built-in database. Below the table are the settings for the selected element in the table, as well as buttons for adding and removing list elements. First of all, we can set up standard rules for all mobs and NPCs. There are lines all monsters and all NPC at the bottom of the table to do so. For example, you can turn off the attack for all monsters, leaving only the counter-attack, and then add the mobs we need separately and, on the contrary, turn on the attack for them. To add a target to the table, enter its name or ID in the field first, and then click search by name ID. By the way, you can also enter a part of the name. For example, for ease of search you can enter Brika to add all the Brika orcs at once. Please note that the bot has its own database, and the names may not be the same with those you see in the game. You will see a list of found mobs and NPCs after you click on the button. You need to mark those you want to customize later. You can also select only one. The select all button can help you with that. It selects all elements at once or vice versa. You can now click the add button and the marked targets will appear in the general table. If you want to close the appeared list without adding anything, click the cancel button. There is also a visible NPC button. You can add targets that are within the character's line of sight to the list. Let's move on to settings. Select one of the mobs or NPCs in the table, and you will see all the settings associated with them below. They are divided into three blocks. Action, Priority, Attack Position. We will start with Action. Attack. If this option is enabled, the bot will select specified target for attack. By default, this option is enabled for all monsters and disabled for all NPCs. 
it is also possible to configure several conditions that will be necessary for the attack. There is a drop-down list at the top where you can select the desired condition. The type of condition is selected on the left and on the right, the value to be compared with. For different types of conditions, you need to enter different values here. For example, you can set a condition so that the bot will check whether the character has a sufficient amount of MP or not to attack strong mobs. If in radius. This setting allows you to create a check for the number of mobs and NPCs that are close to a potential target. The check distance can be changed as well as comparison sign. And there is a field bellow in which you can enter specific names of targets to be checked, otherwise all targets will be taken into account. For convenience, you can double-click on it and mark the necessary ones. You can set up ignore or priority for groups of mobs with the help of this check. The second option is do not attack. We recommend using the fight back option so that the character would defend itself in case of attack and not be a punching bag. The next block is priority. The higher the priority of the target, the more willingly the bot will select it for attack. This setting can be adjusted from low to very high. Average is a standard. When a target with a very high priority appears, the bot will immediately switch to it, possibly not finishing the battle with the previous mob and also ignoring, for example, drop pickup. There is the increase priority option below, where we can select one of our items and its quantity. Thus if we have a selected item of more than the specified quantity, the priority of the target will be increased. For example, initially you can choose low priority for strong mobs but increase it if the character has shots in sufficient quantity. Now only the attack position block remains. It allows you to configure a specific area of the location in which the action we configured and the selected priority will be applied. There are three fields for the coordinates on the left. You can quickly fill them by clicking the current button to enter the coordinates of our character. And there is a field for choosing the radius of the area on the right. If the target is in the R, the settings we have selected will be applied. This will allow, for example, to set a higher priority for mobs that are located near the teleport point so that nothing will threat allies who just came. And thus the configuration possibilities end. It is worth mentioning the all the same button, which will help to apply the setting of the selected mob or NPC to everyone else. Let's take a look at an example of filter configuration together. This is the matter in which destroyer that we teleported to Varka will be assisting us. First of all, we delete previous settings with the clear button. Then we press visible NPC and a list of all nearby mobs appears. Some of them are not on our spot specifically, so we uncheck them and add the rest for customization. As you can see, many mobs are next to each other and will attack us together if we touch one of them. It is better to avoid such groups. To do so, select each mob in the list, activate the if in radius option, set the radius to 400, and let the number be less than or equal to 3, that is, 3 monsters or less. There are also hunters here that hit pretty hard. Let's choose low priority for target search, but turn on increase priority if the character still has a lot of healing potions. And if a group of mobs does attack us, then it is preferable to kill hunters first, so we will choose high priority for the counter-attack. Grazing Nepence uses a stun sometimes, so it's better not to attack him at all, just fight back. We will choose high priority for the counter-attack only. That's probably all, now we can farm. Now you know everything about setting up target search in the Adrenaline Bot interface. If you want to know about the setting of other tabs, watch the video on our channel. And also subscribe and learn more about the capabilities of the Adrenaline Bot and scripts for it. You can buy a bot on our official website, AdrenalineBot.com. If you have any questions, feel free to contact our technical support in Discord.